I'm Tracy Bingaman. I'm a full-time working mom of five who got sick, burned out, quit my job, and now I teach women how to mom smarter, not harder. The pressures of modern motherhood are intense. You're a busy working mom juggling all the balls and living in fear of dropping the exact wrong one. Here you'll find the tools you've been searching for to confidently prioritize your life and optimize your ability to rock all the hats that you choose to wear. I'll show you how to break through your limiting beliefs so you'll have more time and more money than you know what to do with. Because even in the busiest seasons of life, you can grow to master your money, own your time, and be the mom with all the margin. This is Fulfilled as a Mom. If you're an entrepreneur, I have a question for you. Do you wanna be making more money in your business? What does it cost you when your marketing and sales processes aren't smooth and consistent? If you're a business owner who wants more clients, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out the Uncensored Society podcast. It is a business podcast that helps you to create systems and how to problem solve using concrete practical strategies that you can apply to your business right away. They don't hold anything back. They have no secrets. This podcast teaches you everything you need to know about business. Visit uncensoredsocietypodcast.com to listen and start generating cash flow so that you can live the life you deserve today. So today I want to talk about stepping away from your primary role as a mom and as a wife, as an employee or a team member, all of those hats that you wear and taking time for you. So I'm just coming back from a night away with one of my dear friends. We went and rented an Airbnb. We went to a concert. We got to do dinner and breakfast and connect and spend time with each other without distractions. And this is something that we planned months ago. I have been looking forward to it since we decided that we were gonna do it. And it is so refreshing to take time away to remember who I am and to invest in one of the relationships that is so near and dear to my heart. So today I'm gonna talk about some reasons why taking time away from your spouse, from your kids, from your everyday responsibilities is so important. So the first is that it is refreshing to you and that it reminds you of who you are and that you are in fact a human being who has wants and needs and dreams and things that she is excited about above and beyond the day-to-day -day functioning of your life. And this doesn't mean that the day-to-day -day functioning of your life is bad or draining or not fruitful, although it can feel like all of those things from time to time, but rather that you're being intentional about carving out time for you. And when you do that, when you come back, I tend to feel better and more energized and more focused on my kids. And I do think there is something to be said for absence makes the heart grow fonder because today when I pick my kids up from daycare, I am going to be more excited to see them than if I hadn't stepped away and been intentional about taking some time for myself. The second thing is to model for your kids that you are a unique human being with needs and wants and that you aren't afraid to lean into those and to do something that matters to you. So if I want my kids to grow up to be humans that know their own desires and feel comfortable pursuing them, if I want them to grow up, if they choose to be parents as parents who don't stop becoming a person just because they have kids, then it's my responsibility to model those things for them. And this is harder in seasons where kids are way younger or schedules are crazy or when kids are going through a particularly difficult time. But even in those busy, crazy times, it's important to take time for you. So it might not be an entire weekend away, but maybe it's some dedicated time after they're in bed or before they wake up that you are pouring into yourself, that you are doing things that make you smile and bring you joy, and that you are doing those things because you love your kids so much. So I think there's this thing in society where we feel like if we're doing something, are you looking for a way to entertain your little one that does not involve the use of screens? 
If you're a mom of kids between the ages of three and nine, then you will definitely want to check out Goop Tales. It's a podcast with over a million downloads, a hundred episodes, and it's hands down the best kid storytelling podcast that you've probably never heard of. The Goops are these adorable little creatures with naughty character traits that gets them into trouble and it sends them straight out of the Goop world and into adventures all around the world. Your kids will learn about other countries and cultures while also sparking important conversations about character traits. I just finished listening to episode 109 with my kids during dinner cleanup. And in it, this character Negotiati goes to this cool market and they loved it. Visit gooptales.com to listen or look them up anywhere you get your podcasts. Quote unquote, just for ourselves or just because we want to, that it makes it somehow less worthy, less upstanding, less valid than when we do things for other people. And I think as women, society has told us that over and over that you are the caretaker, you are the giver, you are the backbone, you are the, you know, happy wife, happy life, happy mom, happy family, and that it all rests on you to make sure everyone else's needs are taken care of. But I am inviting you to challenge that notion and to kind of push back against that and say, no, my needs are valid. What I want to do is valid. And you don't have to feel guilty for leaving your kids because in doing so, you're actually setting a really good example for them. And you're showing them what someone who is self-aware does, what someone who knows what she wants and take steps to schedule it and to make those things happen, you're saying to them, I matter. And if you want them to grow up to know that they matter too, those things are important. And yes, it's okay to miss your kids. And yes, it's okay to kind of mourn that time that you would have or could have spent with them. But I don't think that you should feel like you should have spent that time with them, that you should be spending every waking moment worrying about their lives and their schedule and their homework and getting them to all the places that they need to be. Yes, that is a part of being a mom. And in loving our kids, we inherently worry about them. And we want to make sure they're getting to all the places that they need to go. But also, if there's not someone in your life who is insisting that you take time, you can be that person. And that's going to take some planning and some communication because you have to put it on the schedule and then you have to make sure that someone else is going to be responsible for all of those roles that you normally fill in the 24, 48 hours a week that you spend away, whatever it is that you've got coverage and that your kids are going to be fed and clothed and they're going to get to where they need to be. Those are all really important things. And I think there's a part of this that if you do that, you can let go of feeling like you need to be responsible for it because you made sure that someone else was taking care of those things so that you can actually relax and just be and do the thing that you're planning to do with your time alone. Now, if this feels super overwhelming to you and you're like, oh gosh, I could never leave my kids alone or when I even think about going away or taking some time, it feels super stressful to me to have to coordinate that and do all the things to make sure they're taken care of. Start small and maybe you just take a half day from work while they're at daycare or while someone else is responsible for them and you go and sit at the library and read or you go to Panera and get lunch with a friend or you go get a manicure and you stay in town and you do something that is going to make you refreshed and feel better when you go to pick them up and try that and see how it feels and then build up to longer time away because in that time away you can reconnect with yourself You can reinvest in relationships that really matter to you, whether that's with your partner or your friends, and you can be you. And it's this space to have new ideas and a change of scenery and things that are really gonna pour into you. And in case no one has told you today, you are worthy of that time and space. You are worthy of investing in yourself. You are worthy of feeling really good about the way that you're showing up for everyone else and in doing so, taking time for yourself. 
So a little reminder, a little encouragement to ditch that mom guilt and put something on the calendar that's going to make you feel really great. Because I know that you want to show up well for work and for your spouse and for your kids, but sometimes showing up well for them starts with showing up well for you. Until next time, keep on taking one step at a time to be more fulfilled as a woman, as a wife, and as a mom. I'll see you then. I'm doing a victory dance right now because you did it. You took the time to tune in, to reach for a better life, and to take care of you. Did our time together go by way too fast for anyone else? Head to fulfilledasamom.com for show notes and all the discount codes from today's show. You now have the tools and knowledge to change your life. Go blaze your trail, take that step, make the shift, and do the work to create fulfillment in your life today.